Uh, welcome back everyone. You're listening to Turtle Island News and we are now officially in overdrive. So, the next victim, again, also, it, and this group was really harvested, really harvested. And I'm not trying to belittle their death at all. But there's a certain group of people that were there that night. And it looks like they were always there. But were were they always targeted? It sure looks like. No. Saranda Coleman Singleton, 59 years old. And Cynthia Graham Hurd, 54 years old. Both sisters of secrets. They were members of the Divine Nine, Alpha Kappa Alpha, sorority founded in 1908, Harvard University, aka states that it is the first Greek-lettered sorority established and incorporated by African-American college women. The aka's is a Bastilis, it is a monarch. cultic society. It has cultic initiation rituals, rites, hand signals again, handshakes, oaths, degrees, just like the Masons, and all participate in the Illuminati Luciferian Boule, which I've talked to you about. Black oath, black skull, black bones in this case. In fact, the Divine Nine are tentacles and vassals of the Boule. And I can go into them again. I know it's been a while. But I have the Sons of Sharona, Chris Singleton, zombie interview on YouTube that you can see. Now, Chris Singleton is no crisis actor. Some entity has turned him into a mind-controlled zombie. He does appear drugged. Chris has blurred and droopy eyes, which we see in so many of these killers. He appears drowsy. Most tellingly, though, persistent licking outside and around his lips indicate that he has a dry mouth. So psychoactive mind control drugs like phenothiazine and Thorazine have side effects including feeling of drowsiness, disorientation, shakiness, dry mouth, blurred vision, inability to concentrate, psychoactive drugs like prolixin and Thorazine can turn a victim into a virtual CIA MKUltra mind controlled zombie. Now if that is the reason for the Magic Mike extra large dancing zombies that come to your house to clean, I say let's spray that shit. I'm just kidding. Okay, moving on. Dylan Roof also plainly displays the same tem telltale signs that we have seen over and over and over again of this dry mouth. Now, according to an article, Sorority Celebrates Michelle Obama's Acceptance, New York Times, um, July 14, 2008, Michelle Obama accepted honorary, a.k.a. membership, prior to President Obama's 2008 election. Hillary Clinton declined the membership. Now, Myra Thompson, also a sister of secrets, member of the Divine Nine, Delta Sigma Theta sorority, founded in 1913, Harvard University. They make no bones about their Masonic roots. And most direct line of the descendant of the Greek societies to America is Freemasons called Masons. 
Historians of American fraternities and sororities trace most of our rituals and ceremonies and rites to the Masons. An examination of the Masonic rituals open to scholars suggests that our founders, well, when I say are, it's loosely, also influenced by Masonic rituals, symbolism, initiation experiences. Now this goes back to everything I've told you up until now, how the rites were taken, distributed, reformatted, and set out. This is also part of what happened after World War I, when guys actually said, you know what, we're not killing each other and left, and why it all had to change. What if a lot of this history isn't even the five or six hundred years ago that I told you? What if it's a couple hundred years ago? We can't prove that either way, but it's interesting. And there's definitely something going on here. Delta Sigma Dia um, Sorority Incorporated Grand Chapter Candidate Syllabus 1987 page 30 Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Rituals Ceremonies Heavily Influenced by Illuminati The New Brotherhood Consistent with all the rituals, all the ceremonies of the great beast, the 666, the Aleister Crowley, who has initiated each and every one of us by his teaching of Hollywood and United States being the head of ritual order of imagery since Hollywood's inception. Phantasmagoria. They've told you about everything we put on TV and know that that includes the news. All the movies. United States is doing all of that stuff. Behind all of that stuff. We cannot look at... Israel has not come out with a really good movie. They are not in charge with this. They are not in charge with the massive mind control. They are not. It's here. Now Minerva, goddess of wisdom, one of the strongest, most admirable goddesses of antiquity, chosen by the founders as, as the patron of the sorority. Patron in itself means they know a little bit more about what this being is, but we'll go on. She serves merely, though, as a symbolic representation, something desirable. Attributes of mind, body, and spirit. The goddess's name derives from ancient roots for mind and control. Her domain is intellectual, Minerva, inventor of music. So is it not fitting that the attributes they look for influential in the minds of spirits and demons and control that is done by what? Sound and frequency, lights and flashing things. They're calling it these sorors. Compromise Minerva Circle of Wisdom. The college educated women seeks to become wise rather than smart. This is why Minerva, the goddess of wisdom, is our sorority mentor. This is from the intake program, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. Now, according to John Robertson's proofs of conspiracy, now this is back in 1798, so know that our brothers and sisters were looking into this stuff. They were not blind. Not at each and every one of them. And there were brothers and sisters of all races, all places on this planet, who have always not been bent at the knee. Those people are usually killed. But they at least try. 
Now, the third degree of the Illuminati, Bavarian this time, is called the Minerva, or the brother of Minerva, in honor of the goddess of learning. Later, this title was adopted, initiated in the first initiation of the great beast, Aleister Crowley's OTO rituals, ceremony of Minerva, and the first degree. Also, Illuminati masters of Minerva. The official sigil of it is that of the owl of Minerva. Of the little owls they have there. But know that in the ancient, the most ancient things that I can find around the world, and I have some pictures of this, the owl just meant the nighttime, the moon goddess. It was not evil, it was not na nasty, it was not bad, it was night. So remember, everything they show us, they just show us one side of it, right? Now, once is handsome symbol with the thumb extended could be the love hand sign right Yances Twances Sanders um, 26 year old also a brother of secrets also associated with the blue lion marketing that worse blue lion told you lion ancient symbol of the mother a lion. Lion snake, most likely, but later became a dog, which became God, and see how all these things kind of roll into each other. But it's unknown which secret society or societies that he actually belongs to, but it's openly displayed secret society in the hand signals we, we see him using. I think that part's clear. I know that kids throw up these th symbols not really knowing what they're about and the symbols themselves are not bad again that mudra you're seeing if you scroll down on the page um, this is for your stomach doing it like this is for your stomach if you've had pro stomach problems you sit there and you hold it like this but it it's not an easy symbol and I want you to look at his hands and see how he's got you know the finger right next to his thumb and his baby finger up try that see how hard it is you just don't throw up that hand signal without practice of it you need to practice it and if you are in one of these societies it needs not just to be practiced, you need to do it right when it's asked of you. So I know it could be a little bit pushing the thing, saying, you know, it could be anything, he's just a kid. But I'm telling you, try to make that hand signal. Now, he spoke the special Xbox language of Dylan Roof. That suggests he may be, have been recruited trained program again in this Xbox programming and yes it really is but it's black cube it's Saturn it's the nine it's all of the people I'm telling you about that's that's it this is the bad guy so Germany's homicidal vampiric Manuela Ruda with the thumb extended with the devil horns. Certainly it's not a love sign when this thing does it. The drama or the dragon ma or the drag queen the drama queen and dialogue between Tuanza and Ruth during the massacre seems to suggest that they were both dragon monks dragon lords acting out a real Shaolin showdown like the game that they both played but Tuanza had been betrayed Roof had been counter-programmed to kill then we have 
um, Ethel Lance, 70 years old, cousin of the OES matron, Susie Jackson. She was the um, sexton of the church. The word sexton derived from medieval Latin words. Um, secretus meaning uh, custodian of sacred options, the keeper of things. Now grandmother of the church. She had been with Mother Manuel AME for over 30 years. Then we have Reverend D. Payne Middleton, doctor, pastor of Mother Manuel AME, 49 years old. Doctor, doctor, I don't know. As administration coordinator at Southern um, Wesleyan University's Charleston Learning Center. Now, according to the university's website, she held a bachelor degree in biology from Columbia College, a master's degree in organizational management from Western Wesleyan, previously a manager of Charleston's um, Census Bureau office, retired pastor. She also was a retired director of Charleston County's Community Development Block Grant Program. Now, in any legal or quasi-legal trial, hearing, or proceeding for any court, commission, or committee, no regular or duly ordained minister, priest, or rabbi shall be required in giving testimony to disclose any confidential communication properly entrusted to him in his professional capacity and necessary and proper enable him to discharge the functions of his office according to the usual course of practice or discipline of his church or religious body. So, a trustee, Poppy Shepherd, who I have a picture of, discovered in plain sight the gravestone of a black confederate soldier a cook on the burial grounds. Shepherd, keeper of the trust, survived the massacre as a messenger of death. The problem is that Shepherd had dropped from sight. I can't find her. I can't find her mentioned. I can't find her past. Well, her past is okay, but I can't find her now no family, no people, nowhere. She's just gone. What she witnessed in that class with um, Dylan Roof and the victims remain in trust. Unknown. And she is a trustee. Is it an accident, do you think, that she's called that? Now, me, I don't think so. We have Felicia Sanders, the Wanda's mother, who also survived the massacre. She attended Ruth's bail hearing in North Carolina. She told Ruth by closed circuit video, we welcomed you Wednesday night into our Bible study with open arms. Who welcomed Ruth to that Wednesday Bible class and when? Did they know Ruth? Did Tuanza know Ruth? How did Ruth know in advance that the busy reverend would be at that specific study class that evening? What happened during the Bible study? What World War II and Vietnam vet Simmons struggle with the assailants? Did they? What did Ruth shoot first? Who? These things, unknown, unknown, unknown. At least seven of the nine. 
these victims were members of the black secret societies governed by ritual Masonic blood covenant oath of secrecy. Two Masonic and four divine nine members. Two among the dead had been bound to previous aspects of church confidentiality. That was pretty much, that was pretty impressive, sensitive, influential group of members that just happened to be in one Bible study class with an assassin. And from the set of an absolutely bizarro, extraordinary event, that took place in the basement of that church, I got to believe that this was no way ordinary Bible class, that they were brought together to witness some unusual event in confidence and in secrecy, and in advance they had been assigned to council to receive roof amongst them in the midst of the flock. They were betrayed by their own initiated covenants of secrecy, they were slaughtered. They were sacrificed. And then I have Ruth and Mayberry, North Carolina. God. YouTube. Now the florist, Debbie Dills, decked out in her Masonic black and white, took a look at Ruth's so-called capture by the police department. I've got that link up there. Now during the post-Civil War Reconstruction era, Shelby and Cleveland County had been one of the strongholds of the KKK. Dylan Roof's appearance in Shelby was like a script from Andy Griffin's popular TV series, Mayberry. Even police chief Jeffrey Leffert talks out of the side of his face like Gomer Pyle and like Goober. You guys remember those? Anyway, Chief Ledford's deputy, Barney Fife, even took Roof to Burger King for supper. Roof's capture in Shelby, Cleveland County, NC, was more like a welcoming home church picnic for little Opie Taylor. Ron Howard. Then the apprehension of a dangerous armed criminal, a national fugitive who had just mass murdered nine black people within the sanctity of the church. Now in conclusion, President Obama, Hillary Clinton, and the National Democratic Party has been linked to this massacre and to the Confederate flag and to gun control. The result of the massacre they are calling for the battle flag of the Confederacy as a matter of national policy to be removed from state capitals around the county and gun control. They have unleashed even more southern sick racial violent elements, the KKK, the Civil War lost cause. The Second Amendment advocates against the black masses. There is no national program to implement the policy. There is no U.S. governmental agency or department in charge of policy. There is nobody in the federal level overlooking the policy, not even Obama. They got exactly what they planned to get out of this covert false flag the strategy of tension, this operation at the mother, Emmanuel, mass population, mass psychological warfare, political capital. If black people and their institutions such as churches are attacked as a backlash through white resistance or offensive movements, they have been left out in the cold to find out what the illusionary and capricious grace of the forces attacking them are. Since the call for removing the battle flag 
and gun control as a result of this massacre. Eight black churches have been torched, including two in South Carolina. Who is burning the churches? Let's call it what it is. The offensive of the second civil war against black people. Huey P. Newton and the BPP before the CIA. MK Ultra, FBI, COINTELPRO begged nothing from no one in defense of the people. They organized, advocated, in self-defense, meeting out the same degree of force that they use to attack the people. Then there would be no question who is burning the black churches. Let them test their own Calvinist theories of grace before the Maker and see what they really get answered by. So thanks for staying with me for the extra half hour, guys. I really appreciate it, and I love you, and we'll talk to you very, very soon.